Continental tubular tires, handcrafted in Germany, have been the reference class in tire construction for decades. Numerous pro teams rely on Conti for a good reason. The tires have to be bonded firmly to the rim to ensure that the force is transferred reliably to the road. A professional mechanic demonstrates how it is done. Conti recommends that only liquid rim cement from Continental be used. The new cement in the black tube or can was developed for carbon rims. The can with the brush is ideal for professional mechanics who bond tires on a regular basis. Once open, the can should be used up quickly or the cement will lose its adhesive strength. The tube is sufficient for bonding one tire and is therefore ideal for occasional use. The following steps are to be carried out to properly mount the tire and ensure that the tubular tire is glued to the rim permanently. Please follow the instructions in the tubular tire package closely. The content of this video is also summarized in the illustrations. To facilitate the mounting process and to ensure that the tire sits as well on the rim as possible, you should allow the new tubular tire to sit on a dry rim for several days inflated. Remove the protective cap from the valve and unscrew the valve. Press the valve towards the tire so that it opens. Only in this way can air get into the tire. Pump up the tire until it just takes on its round shape, but can still be pressed together easily. Screw the valve shut once again. Place the valve in the valve hole of the rim. Press the tire into the valve hole. Starting at the valve, pull the tire uniformly into the tire bed on both sides. If the tubular tire cannot be pulled onto the rim or it requires a great deal of force, it absolutely may not be stretched. The tire could be damaged and it would no longer be guaranteed that it sits reliably on the rim. Instead, modify your technique. Starting at the valve, pull the tire uniformly and firmly downward on both sides away from the valve. Hold the tire tightly against the rim and cradle the rim against your hips. In this position, you'll be able to get the tire on the rim. Check that the tire sits on the rim uniformly all the way around and adjust if necessary. Open the valve and inflate the tire to the nominal pressure specified on the tire's label. Let the inflated tire sit on the rim for several days. Mounting the tire is easier if the wheel is put in a truing stand or an old fork clamped in a bench vise. If you want to mount the tire on a used rim, you must first remove all traces of cement and dirt. We recommend that you use fine emery cloth to do this. Sand the entire circumference of the rim evenly until it is free of cement traces. It is also extremely important that new rims be sanded slightly. The valve hole in the rim is often not cleanly deburred, which can result in radial runout or even damage to the tire. If this is the case, deburr the valve hole of the aluminium rim using a round file. If this is done, the valve area clings to the rim better. Clean the rim bed thoroughly of dirt, grease and oil using an absorbent cloth and benzene or acetone. Allow the solvent to air dry completely before you begin to apply the rim cement. When working with acetone and the highly combustible continental rim cement, ensure that the room is well ventilated. Store the materials properly and keep them out of the reach of children. Open the tube of cement without squeezing it. Bear in mind that the special rim cement adheres very well not only to the rim and the tire, but also to fingers and clothing, so you might want to wear old work clothes. Apply a bead of rim cement in small sections to the rim, spreading it uniformly on the rim bed using a stiff, bristled brush. Spread the rim cement evenly and as thinly as possible over the entire circumference of the rim. If you want to mount the tire on a rim with a high profile, mount the Conti valve extension now. Unscrew the valve with the tool provided 
first screwing in the extension and then the valve. Tighten both using the tool. Apply an even coat of rim cement to the tire's seam protector as well. Allow the cement to air dry until it is no longer tacky or wet to the touch. This can take several hours. Apply another thin coat of rim cement to the tire's seam protector. Next, place the rim on the floor with the valve hole facing up immediately. Insert the valve of the slightly inflated and thus round tire in the rim's valve hole and press down firmly. Grasp the tire to the left and right of the valve with both hands and put it into the rim bed section by section, rolling and pulling it slightly. Make sure that the tire sidewalls do not come in contact with the cement bed or they will look dirty. Continue evenly until about 20 centimeters remain. Again, starting at the top of the valve, pull the tire downward until your hands have reached the section that is yet to be mounted. Hold the tire tightly by placing your fingers on the rim and your thumbs on the tire and cradle the wheel against your hips. Push the tire over the edge of the rim using thumb pressure. Once the tire is in the bed, it must be centered and aligned. Very seldom does the tire run true immediately. Check the tire over the entire circumference. The seam protector must be aligned equally to the left and to the right. If the tread is not centered or if the tire wobbles to the side, lift the corresponding section from the rim, twist it slightly and let it go once again. Now put the wheel back in the truing stand and allow it to rotate. Check it once again and make fine adjustments. If the tire has no lateral runout, remove the wheel from the stand and inflate tire fully. Apply load to the wheel using the axle journal and the quick clamp and roll it along the floor for several meters. The wheel should be vertical as well as tilted to the side for several rotations. Then check that it indeed runs true and has no radial runout. Clean the rim's braking surfaces of any traces of cement with an absorbent cloth and acetone. Allow the wheel to cure 24 hours before use. Before you ride on the wheel the first time, adjust the inflation pressure according to your needs, following continental recommendations. Remount the wheel, reversing the procedure you used to remove it. Close the brake quick release lever and check that the brake pads contact the braking surfaces of the rim. Make sure that the quick clamp is closed tightly. Be certain to test the brakes. Before each ride, check that the tires are in good condition, that the valves are not crooked and have sufficient pressure. Monitor the inflation pressure using a pump with pressure display 